Jewish course says do not be wise in words be wise in deeds the moment people hear this one they think do not talk too much but whatever you made you share it up a simple thing i have been observing for a very long time when you compare with india and the other parts of the world especially in australia in england and in japan i always find men do not sit and call their secretaries for a pen or a paper or a book anything they get up they go they know where it has been kept and they'll take it up and they'll write i have seen the husbands never call the wife for coffee or tea or this or that they get up they make the tea or coffee and give to us just get up from your seat now in india everything has been ordered sitting on the chair and you order and the wife rushes up to give and take it back the office secretary rushes up to take and give it back the driver does it for you opening the doors and making it just a small change if you can do it instead of calling another person why don't you get up and take the things then it becomes in and the yang the boss and the secretary the guru and the shishya the teacher and the students the wife and the husband sitting in a place and you auto you do not know where things are there do not be wise in words but be wise in deeds means keep moving you also should equally know what went wrong with the education system is do not be wise in words they were full of wise in words but when it came to deeds means practical life what is practical life most of the practical life they done it for the factories and for the companies most of the things what they have done is not for the wife not for the husband but for whom i do not know the education policy should make sure the electrical plumbing sanitary masonry carpentry everything should be taught in the school self sufficiency they call it make in india but make in your house was never there varieties of food dishes what goes with the spring summer autumn winter if that has been taught in all the schools and the parents at home of course they finding it difficult because of the pressure on the factories and the companies and the loot of the private schools government will not interfere you are thinking government should interfere if they interfere they cannot make money so they will allow the private schools to loot and call it as competitive nature for the students to drag from there to tuition centers and the parents should never get the child in their own hands neither the child will get the parents in their own hands because the parents come very late from the factories and companies and tired especially in bangalore city husband and wife have to work otherwise they cannot survive such is the situation they have created by giving them jobs beautiful jobs with beautiful money at the same time that much amount of money they snatch it out from them in the name of cars beautiful buildings and rich rich hospitals and schools all the money is gone you have purposely made the family destroy go back let them keep destroying in the last one hour now the huge volumes of books have been converted into small pen drive and it's possible even if they drag you make sure the last one hour of your night you and your children can sit together to plan the strategy you take plumbing electrical sanitary paint plan how to work or not google has got a lot of things to download to learn to understand make sure self sufficiency drive in your house once you know that you love the first time you will taste love <laughs> then be wise in deeds works out better because when you know it's not about you saving your money one part is you save your money 
Second part, you start realizing the stupidity of on a holiday, seven days of the week, six days they make you work, and on seventh day they'll make sure make sure that you go outside and eat, you go outside with your friends, you go for this marriage, you go for that that picnic. You are never at home. You should never be at home. <laughs> You have to take the courage if you are a liter literate, educated person. You must take the courage to make sure that every everybody comes in one place at least once a week so that you can work together in the house where you worked in the hotels, factories, companies. And from there you make once a month to go to your joint family and once in quarterly, once in four months you go and see the family tree. You can see the change, the beauty. Suddenly you find you become very healthy. Your diseases have gone. Because when you go to the joint family and the family tree, you can know, do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. Do not go there to enjoy, but to work. At the end of the work early, at the end of the work early, you have to sit and chit chat and have a very good meal. Go to your joint family, go to your family tree, to work very hard. Once a week when you are in the home, everybody work. And if you plan it, you can finish all the work in two hours or three hours, scrubbing each other, cleaning up your hair, cleaning up the house, painting, touch up the painting, carpet, mason, sanitary, and cook together the variety of dishes. And then post lunch, you can go out if you still wanted to go out to meet somebody. Do not be wise in words, that wise in words, drop it and be wise in deeds. Otherwise, you keep on complaining, husband complains, wife, wife complains, the husband and the husband and wife together become father and mother to complain against the children and the children and father and mother together complain against the friends and the neighborhood and to the joint family and his family tree. You become kings of complaints, come out of that. They have made you like that. And you are not knowing, they are remote controlling you to talk like that. Drop it. Jewish court said, do not be wise in words. Be wise in deeds. That is uh, the famous beautiful thing what's happening in India. The karma you will keep doing work without expecting results. But plan your strategy. Together, you can see happiness.